Think I'm more to the Minecraft found Jimmy Swift skills will drive you wild From a treehouse to a city bank It's the Minecraft files all day Hi, That was a good one. I like that one a lot. Hey, what's going on, Searches? It's Jimmy Sapir, and welcome back to the Minecraft Files. This is episode 68 in season 6, and today we're going to be finishing the nether base. I've already done a ton of work on this already. Uh, I have all the walls up, I've got the ceiling up. Uh, to sort of cut down on blocks, I actually left out the corners. Um, so, oh gosh. Where, from where? From where? Gassed. I left out the corners right here, as you can see, as well as the top section here. Um, so inside it looks like a box, but, uh, secretly, it, uh, is basically, well it is, it just doesn't have the corners and stuff. Uh, I also switched out my bow, so I have my infinity bow here so I can take care of pesky little gas like this. Thankfully, they don't, oh yeah, look at that, long range. Uh, thankfully they don't get, like, they don't spawn in here, They're, they spawn farther out, so, we are a bit protected. However, I do have a couple ideas for today's episode, so. We've got some pillar quartz blocks, and um, we have some, a little bit of quartz left. Not a ton, but some. So, I want to start to put down our patterns for the uh, the purple wool, because we got a lot of purple wool here that I want to be using, and sort of, uh, you know, just sort of complementing the look here of this purple in the nether portal. So, uh, I think... Yes, I think this is how you make... No, that's chiseled. How does one make a pillar quartz? Although, I don't think... Oh, here we go. I don't know that we'll need any more. Um, but, what I was thinking about doing was in each of these four corners, uh, going... Do -do, like, two blocks out like this. Freaking thing scared me there. And basically bringing some uh, pillars down like this. So, let's go ahead. I think... I'm not 100% sure. Wait, maybe I am mistaken here. I want to say that it's actually what I built was a perfect square, but I don't know that it is. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, not quite perfect square, but it shouldn't really affect us um, as much. Although, hold on. Is this not centered? Let's see, 1, 2, 3. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, shoot. I could make this a bit smaller. I could bring this wall in one. But that might be a lot of work. What I'll probably do... Yeah, well, I might do that off camera. We'll see. But in any case, I want to do this today in which we basically bring these pillars down. I'll show you guys my idea here. So, uh, looks like the shape of the building will need some work. Uh, as you can see, this pillar, uh, being that it's two blocks out, from the corner like I wanted it to be is actually touching the portal. So what I'll probably do um, Oh, we could we can move the portal back and put the portal in between these two pillars. That may be kind of cool actually We could do that today. So let's uh, put these pillars up here like that. Oh look at that perfect number perfect number of Pillar quartz blocks. I love it. I love it. It's perfect. Okay, so now that our portal has been destroyed uh, I am going to Precautionarily, is that a word? I don't even know. I'm making it one. I block this off so we don't get any of the uh, um, the pigmen in here, because this is my domain now. This is gonna be our base. But what I was thinking was actually putting some purple wool around each of the base, uh, the bases of the pillars here, which I think might add a nice little touch and might look kind of cool for the room, because it's a completely white room. These quartz blocks, they look awesome, guys. I really, I've never built anything with them before. This is the first build that I've actually done that has involved, um, well, massive build at least, that has involved quartz blocks. Uh, at least in terms of like making a full room and stuff like that. So this is sort of a first for me and I'm actually quite excited because I've seen servers and all sorts of things, buildings, um, you know, builds online and stuff like that, pictures and things where people always use quartz block because it's a really awesome looking block in Minecraft. And I've just never built with it before, so that was one of the reasons that sort of stemmed my interest in building a nether base was that I wanted to uh, essentially utilize the uh, the quartz and, um, you know, basically uh, make something really cool out of it. So uh, I spent a good while here, about the last hour or so, collecting some uh, some more quartz because I was I was running low um, after last episode. But I think we're in good we're in good shape now. 
So, that being said, what I want to do is start to sort of map out the what the uh, design looks like, and I think I'm just gonna put put it around here. We'll put purple, purple around like this. Do this. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Always misplacing blocks in the Minecraft files. You guys know my rule. It's never intentional, but it always happens. <laughs> um, all right, cool, cool, cool. So another thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, oh, look, we can save on some of the. Uh oh, we can save on some of the slabs by actually doing that. So I wanted to bring up something uh, I mentioned last night on Twitter, and that was uh, as I've started. Uh, Rethinking now now that it's it is getting closer. We are in that the year, but uh, Elder Scrolls online Which is a game I've been talking about for a long time um, I uh, it's getting it's getting closer. It's going to be releasing on April 4th um, And I like how this looks I like it. I like it. It looks really nice. What if we did it on the roof, too? That might look cool um, Anyways long story short uh, ooh, Didn't mean to do that I, uh, I said some stuff on Twitter last night uh, about the Elder Scrolls Online and April and how I am foreseeing about 90% of my content on my channel uh, switching over to Elder Scrolls Online. Um, now I did this with Skyrim. A lot of people I think were, well a lot of, actually surprisingly a lot of people were happy about that. Um, a lot of people were excited to see some different content from me, which is cool. I'm really excited to hear that. Um, some people were like, no, what about Minecraft and all this stuff. I can assure you guys Minecraft is not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Um, I actually did this for Skyrim. Um, when Skyrim released, I pretty much uploaded nothing but Skyrim for like a month, <laughs> two months. Uh, it was crazy. It was really crazy. Um, but it was a lot of fun. And if you guys know anything about me, I am a massive Elder Scrolls fan. Um, definitely my favorite video game series by far. And so I'm anticipating Elder Scrolls Online um, in, in in the sense of video making and I'm really excited, like really excited because I think it's going to open me up to a different world of gaming, um, be it that it's uh, more, most similarly um, to an MMO, which I've never, like I've never played before really, I've never really played an MMO. Um, so I'm looking forward to like opening my horizons in, in gaming to, to that. Um, as as addicting as they may be, uh, I'm fully I'm fully okay with that. But um, just the story, like the story, excites me greatly. And as you guys probably know, for Elder, if you're an Elder Scrolls fan, Elder Scrolls games and those stories are second to none, in my opinion. They're pretty magnificent, and um, I'm really excited to experience that and share that with you guys through my videos. Um, so that being said, I'm. Just like sort of forewarning those of you that might be excited about the game or wondering what is going to kind of like be coming from me come April and it will be a lot of Elder Scrolls Online content. Now, a lot of people were asking, well, what's going to happen to the Minecraft files? Like, is it, is it going to die? Is the Minecraft files going to be dead then? Heck no, I'm going to still be doing the Minecraft files so you guys don't worry. Um, of course, there's always the chance that all, I might at that point be between seasons. Uh, sometimes if I'm between seasons on the Minecraft files, you know, I won't Upload like I might be in transition at that point. I don't know. Um, I don't have any plans at this point. To, oh dang it I didn't mean to put that down. I don't have any plans at that at this point to like be in between seasons But sometimes it just happens that way. So um, Let's see here. Let's do this And maybe Like that for my portal now it looks kind of cool. And then what we can do with the purple wool is this. So anyways, just wanted to let you guys know, uh, and you should be very excited. I hope that every one of you out there is very excited. There's a lot of like negativity with certain people about Elder Scrolls Online because it's gonna be pay to, you know, pay to play. The first month is free. And then after that, if you wanna continue playing, you have to pay $15 a month. And I know that makes a lot of people, especially people that can't afford it, really, you know, butthurt and everything, but uh, that aside, I hope that you guys can still sort of experience the game through my videos and that's why I'm really really excited to do that will be to sort of share that experience and share the story and uh, gameplay and all that stuff through my videos and so hopefully even if you're sort of bitter about it you'll still be able to enjoy my videos in that sense and it, hopefully it'll be really exciting so um, 
definitely gearing up for for that game and we one of the things i'm really really excited about is actually playing with you guys and like running into a town in elder scrolls online and seeing some swifters and seeing people that uh that know me and watch my videos and and maybe we can go on you know like a dungeon raid together or something like that or or complete a quest together or whatever whatever it is um and that's really really exciting um and i'm really really pumped for that so just wanted to let you guys know that that's what I had posted some stuff like that on Twitter last night. Of course, as always, you can, even if you don't have Twitter, you can check my Twitter feed. It's uh, it's a public website. Um, you don't have to have Twitter to see what I'm posting, but uh, you can check that out and uh, see what I said. I was, I was pretty silly and sarcastic through most of it, but um, yeah. So anyway, just wanted to update you guys on that. And I've definitely, I this isn't something that has just happened. Um, I've had plans to do this for, well, pretty much <laughs> as soon as the game was announced, I was like, well, I know what I'm doing videos on when that comes out. So no, should be no surprise there. But I uh, just wanted to let you know, let you guys know, and you, sort of, you know, at least give you guys fair warning if you're someone that's not a fan. But um, if you aren't, uh, yeah, spread your wings a little bit. Join me on an awesome adventure. And of course, Minecraft guys is not going anywhere. So don't worry, people get so freaked out about stuff like that um, with with no reason to be um, I've never given you guys any reason to like that I'm going to just abandon Minecraft I've never done that you know my focus may shift at times and it definitely will when it comes to um, Elder Scrolls Online but um, hey that's because I've been looking forward to this game for like two years now freaking since they announced it in like 2012 it's been it's been a long time coming. So, <laughs> anyways, enough of that. But uh, what I'm doing here now, I've just made some chiseled stone here. So we're gonna sort of line this doorway with some chiseled stone. And I ha happen to have made the perfect amount right there, which is quite cool. Um, and this looks kind of nice. Uh, what I also want to do is make a, whoop, uh, a wooden door. So let's make a door for ourselves here. And there we go. We'll make um, some light out here. And now we have this sort of beautiful, relaxed nether base um, that I think will serve us quite well. Uh, one thing I do want to make more of though, actually, this is really cool looking. Are these chiseled, chiseled slabs? Let me see here. But, uh, oh yeah, also, because I'm sure now that I brought it up, people will have questions. Jim, what are you going to play as? What kind of class? What? You know, what alliance are you gonna be in? Well, uh, I've announced this before, um, and oh, I should also probably talk as well about what happened to the ESO show too, um, while I'm here. But, uh, let me jump out of here because I need to go actually repair a pickaxe real fast with all the levels that I have. So, um, I will be playing as, I may have multiple characters, that's the thing. I might have multiple characters. I haven't fully decided yet on what I'm going to do. Um, my first character, is going to be a Nord playing in the Ebonheart Pact, and most likely will be the uh, Dragon Knight class. Um, that's just sort of my style of play. I'm super pumped for that. Uh, where are my diamonds? Give me the diamonds. Uh, but I was also thinking, uh, and I'm not 100% sure on this yet because it really may sort of split my attention, but I would like to play through each Alliance's storyline um, on video. Now, I don't know how easy that's going to be, uh, how time-consuming that's going to be um, and that sort of thing uh, and obviously you know one of the, the fun things that I've heard you know about MMOs is getting a really high level character and that obviously takes you know you have to spend a lot of time uh, in doing that um, and you know having like multiple characters will split your time up and your main character you know you won't be spending as much time with it and you won't you won't be you know essentially getting him to as high of a level as you want and so on and so forth so i haven't figured that all out yet i may you know do the alternate storylines after i do the one i want to do first which will be the ebonheart pact but um yeah i'm looking forward to uh to being a nord uh nightblade or not nightblade a uh dragon knight uh nord and uh supporting the ebonheart pact so yeah that's what i am planning on doing um but anyways, uh, I was trying to think of how I wanted to incorporate this chiseled stone here. Uh, can chiseled stone also be made into these? Nope, that's just normal quartz stairs. Would be a waste of the chiseled, the chiseled the stone. Um, I don't know where else to put this. Why is there like a, what the heck? 
You guys see this little square here? This this the block of the portal? That's really bizarre. <gasps> Ooh, excuse me. Um, but I like this. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I think it shot right into another wall. <gasps> Thank you, other wall, for protecting me. Block of quartz. What if I made the walkway out here? Chiseled. That might look cool. Just experimenting. Just experimenting. Uh oh, there's someone in the hole down there. I gotta get it. Gotta get it. See, I like that. I like how this looks. That looks cool. Let me do that right here as well. Uh, let's put this right there. And there's a gas out there somewhere. But I'm trying to avoid this soul sand because it's super annoying to walk on, obviously. So let me um. Let me see, I just want to make like a nice little pathway back into the house. Into the base. There we go. Um, with some of this chiseled stuff. Wait, where is this coming from? This block. Okay, did I get it? I think I got it. Alright, cool. So, oh, gotta get this out of here. Um, oh, there he is. There he is. Long range! Yeah. No, he's way out there. Oh! Through the fog! I got him! <gasps> Amazing! But, uh, alright guys, well that's gonna about do it for this episode. If you guys have any more requests on things you want to see me build, uh, please let me know down in the Swifter section below. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. It really does mean a lot. Seriously, uh, your support is, is just amazing. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. But, uh, yeah, this is gonna about do it for today. I gotta come up with something I wanna do for Friday's episode. Um, but I kind of have an idea. We'll see. Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.